With more and more of our personal information and sensitive data living online these days, it's more important than ever to make sure you're properly protected. And that's why we're talking strong passwords on this edition of EPB Tech Pro Tips. Hey there, everyone. I'm Matt with EPB, and I'm here with one of our tech pros, Dakobi, to talk a little bit about password security. Dakobi, first of all, thanks for joining us today. Thank you for having me. So let's get right into it. Why is it so important to have a set of strong passwords? Yeah, Matt, well, with more sensitive data and financial information being out there online, it's really important that people stay ahead of the curve and create a strong, unique password as a great line of defense against hackers. So what are some things we should avoid when coming up with these passwords? Yeah, well, one thing you always want to avoid is creating an easy password that's easy to guess. Uh, things such as password or one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, you don't ever want to also use the same password because when hackers obtain that password, they essentially have it for everything. Okay, so that makes a lot of sense. You want to make it a challenge uh, for those hackers out there. So what are some things that we should be doing to beef up password security? The things you should be doing is creating random passwords with letters, numbers, and special symbols such as exclamation points and dollar signs. Uh, you also want to change your password often and make sure it's unique. Another thing that's available is always setting up your two-factor authentication for maximum security. Okay, so two-factor authentication. What is that? Yeah, two-factor authentication is just an extra layer of security that provides a second proof of your identity. Um, this will be if, in case if a hacker does obtain your password, they still can't access your account. It requires an email code or text sent to your phone. Uh, the good news is that a lot of companies offer this and it's easy to set up with just one click away. So that does sound like a great idea. Hopefully people will use two-factor authentication for their passwords. But so let's get back to passwords. We're supposed to have a unique one for each account and with all of these different accounts that we have out there, I think people are wondering, like, is there anything out there that can help me keep track of all of my passwords? Yeah, man. Well, there are a bunch of great automated password managers out there, such as Apple Keychain and McAfee Live Safe. Uh, these not only store your passwords and keep them protected, but they also generate strong passwords for you. Apple users have uh, free to use Keychain, which is also data in the end encrypted, meaning not even Apple can see those once you store them. Uh, it's also protected through biometric identity, which is essentially just a fingerprint scan or facial recognition. So it sounds like a great password solution for Apple users, but what about people who don't use Apple? Yeah, so McAfee Live Safe is actually a great tool and it's free to use if you're an EPB 5-speed internet customer. Uh, it's great for password protection and also protects you against any malicious viruses. It works on all Apple, Windows, and Android devices and it's super easy to install. But if you do have any issues, you can call our 24-7 support. Now, if you're a non-EPB user and you're looking for a no-cost option, uh, many web browsers such as Google Chrome can autofill those passwords for you and protect them. Uh, you just have to go inside of the settings inside of those web browsers, essentially, and then just add it there. All right, so one last question for you. Let's say someone thinks that a password to one of their accounts has been compromised. What should they do? Well, it's always best to change that password immediately when it comes to your sensitive data. Um, you always want to create a new password to make it harder for those hackers to guess it. And always remember to set up that two-factor authentication. So if your password does get compromised, you're always still protected. Dagobi, thank you so much for hanging out with us today and helping us improve our password security. I feel safer already. If you have any questions about anything when it comes to cybersecurity, we offer 24-7 support. So if you're looking for advice on how to make your passwords more secure or what to do if you think you've been hacked, please don't hesitate to give us a call anytime. In the meantime, thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next edition of Tech Pro Tips.